What we're seeing is uh, we saw about a 15% growth in call volume last year from uh, I think it was 80, 81,000 and change to uh, 92,000 calls. And that's been a consistent kind of growth pattern over three, three or four years now that if it continues, will take us over 100,000 calls uh, this year, 2024. The, the reintroduction of uh, medical response unit number one certainly took the sting out of that where we actually saw a marginal increase in performance last year. I think the, the introduction of this unit will help us with the growth that will happen this year. Uh, so I think it, it is very helpful. And again, it's about getting the right resource um, to the right call quickly. And, and that's what this allows us to do. We have our medical bags, um, defibrillator, naloxone kits in here, and then medical equipment. Uh, Cleanup kit, uh, isolation kit, so blue gowns and stuff if, if we need to isolate. So basically it's the things you'd expect on a medical truck. It's a, it's a way to have a, a two-man crew go to a, a call that requires two people as opposed to a four-man crew. The call we were just on was in an alley and uh, it's not easy wheeling around then the ambulance has to get in. So this, I pulled it off onto a parking lot and was out of the way. Until uh, a couple of weeks ago when this unit arrived here, uh, the calls that it would have run, this engine behind us would have taken. So that, that unit is now tied up on a call, uh, which it doesn't really need to be because the equipment on that truck, a four-person crew, is very much for structural firefighting, for uh, rescues, those kind of things. Um, so having the, the equipment you need for a medical call on an SUV with, with two folks is a very effective way of dealing with uh, certainly our Delta medical calls.